What's up, DG? It's Matt. Welcome to another NFL Week 5 predictions. Uh, I got my overall here. I got my last week record, and I got my valley. Uh, Peak and valley will switch on and off, depending on how bad and how good I do in the previous week. So as you can see, I had a bad week, but that actually just ties week 1, I believe. I went 10-6 and six as well, so we're not doing too bad. That's the worst I've done. We're doing good. And let's get into these predictions. There's there's, there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of crazy picks here. A lot of toss-ups. Just just a lot of good ones. I don't know how. I don't know how anyone's going to get like 16-0 this week. But here we go. We got Thursday night. Probably the best Thursday night game of the season so far. You got the Rams versus the Seahawks. Rams are 3-1. and one, Seahawks are 2-2. Two and two. Seahawks are getting a little hot here, beating the 49ers, and the Rams getting a little cold, losing in the desert to the Arizona Cardinals, who are now 4-0. Uh, and beating the 49ers isn't impressive. The 49ers beat the Lions and the Eagles so far. So it's not, I don't know. The 49ers are a little bit overrated, if you ask me, but the Rams... Lose to a really good Cardinals team who everyone thinks, you know, they're number one in the power rankings currently in the NFL. I got to give it to the Rams here. And it is a game to watch for sure. By the way, I forgot I forgot about those. Uh, next up in London, you got the Jets versus the Falcons. I would have this as a game to watch if it was two, if it was any other good team. But no, these teams aren't, the records aren't good and, uh, Jets got a really good win off the Titans, though, last week. And to be honest, Falcons lost to the Washington football team last minute. They can score as many points as they want, but I'm going to go with the Jets here. I like that defense more than the Falcons' defense. Zach Wilson's just, it's just got to, he's got to keep that momentum going because this is the only way he's going to, only way he's going to win two in a row this year, I think. You, you just beat the Titans, now you have a chance to be an even worse opponent. Come on, Jets. Win in London. No one's got the home field advantage. You got this. Next up, you got the Patriots, who are 1-3, who doinked the field goal in the rain, 56 yards. Not their fault. They lost to Brady. Bill Belichick looked pretty good. Mac Jones looked really good. And they're playing the Texans, who are 1-3 and, and lost Tyrod Taylor. And ever since they lost Tyrod Taylor, they haven't been doing good. Uh, recently lost 40 to zero to the Bills, so uh, this this is pretty easy. I'm gonna go with the Patriots here. Uh, do I think the Texans could win this game? Maybe. They, I mean, they got home field advantage, but I don't know. I can't see them putting up points. Hope they prove me wrong, cause I I like a good underdog story. Next up, you got the Lions with the dick pick. And and I'm not talking about that kind of dick. I'm talking about the interception off of a. a a snap, weird, the weirdest thing I've ever seen, but, you know, that's just Detroit. Versus the Vikings going to Minneapolis, home game. Uh, They're 1-3, and three. Lions can't win a game. Yeah, going to go with Vikings here. Uh, They should be picking this up. They should be right back in the division after this win. Next up, I, another toss-up game. I well, actually, the Lions is kind of a toss-up. You know, they haven't been doing terrible. They just fucking choke and they just do the weirdest shit, and then they give them the ball. If they stop that, they could win the game. So I, I wouldn't count them out on that game. But here you go. You got the Eagles versus the Panthers. Eagles put up a good fight against that Chiefs defense, which is not really impressive. But they scored thirty points. You know, not too bad. You know, hurts look pretty good. Well, they had, they had like 460 yards against that defense. <sighs> Yikes, Chiefs. Taking down the Panthers, who didn't look terrible either against the Cowboys. And uh, I'm going to go with record here. And, you know, without Chris, Christian McCaffrey, they did really good. They exceeded my expectations. I'm definitely another toss-up, I'd say. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the Eagles won this, but I'm going to give it to the Panthers. Like, without Christian McCaffrey and you score that many points on looks like a good defense, you know? Like, seventh ranked in the power rankings, whatever. Top ten. Good for you, Panthers. Good job. I didn't expect them to win that game, but they, they came really close. 
So good for them. Next up, you got the two most inconsistent teams in the league so far. And they're in the same conference. What what the fuck, dude? Okay, so I so I just kind of did this myself and I came and I found a stat. I found a stat that's going to summarize this game, all right? The Saints are undefeated and they play well in the odd week games, which is 1 3 5 7 etc. And the Washington football team has lost every odd week game. Saints have lost every even week game, and the Washington football football team has won every even week game. So, this is an odd week, so I'm picking the Saints. And this is a game to watch just because they're they're both so inconsistent. But I'm going to go with the Saints. Uh, Apparently, Jameis Winston's good every other week, and Washington is bad every other week. I I don't know, man. This is a big toss-up. I wouldn't be surprised if football team won here, but... Just by that stat, I got to pick the Saints. Next up, you got the absolutely horrendous, disappointing divisional game of the AFC South. The Titans, who lost to the Jets, and the Jaguars, who almost won a game but lost to my Bengals in the second half. Uh, so, if the Titans lose this, uh, somebody, somebody has to be fired. Uh, that is uh, absolutely unacceptable. You guys are not going to the playoffs or the Super Bowl. You could still make the playoffs. That that division is so shit. But if you win this game, if you lose this game, I don't know what to say. Jags should definitely lose this. Uh, you know, Trevor Lawrence had a really good game on Thursday. He has best game. Uh, hopefully he can do. Hopefully, hopefully he'll do better. I mean, we don't play him anymore, so they can win whatever they want. But. I don't know. I I got the Titans here. It uh, yeah. It, it should be a sh- should be an easy game for the Titans maybe. But like, if you're if you're gonna lose to the Jets, you better absolutely clap ass next week. Or I don't know. You're not looking good. Next up, you got the Battle of the Florida Men. You got Jacoby Brissett, I believe. I don't think two is back in yet. Versus Tom Brady. And the Buccaneers, Buccaneers defense not looking as good as last year. And the Dolphins, uh, Dolphins are a little disappointing this year. I don't know, they, they, they're, they should have won against the Colts, but they didn't. It was a toss-up game. I don't know what to think about the Dolphins, but I don't think they're better than the Buccaneers. And that's really why I think the Buccaneers are going to win. I, I think the Dolphins are a very mid, like the most mid-tier team this season. I think they're the most average. They're not inconsistent. Uh, they won the last game. They've only won to the pay. They've only beat the Patriots, which is a divisional game, and then they've gotten they've gotten smacked around the rest of the time. So hopefully, well, no, they didn't get smacked. They they came back against the Raiders. They almost close game against the Raiders. Ah. I don't know about the Dolphins this season. I don't know. I don't know. They're very hard, but I, I do know that the Buccaneers are definitely favored in this, and that's why I'm going to pick them. Next up, dude, it is an absolute crime. Let me tell you, it is a crime that this game is going to be at 1 o'clock. Look at the records. Look at these teams. Look at these offenses. This should be an absolute shootout. So this is a game to watch, dude. This is a this might be the game of the week behind the Bills and the Chiefs. Okay, this this game has so much hype. You got these happy Cincinnati fans. I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm gonna convince you that Bengals are gonna win here. Okay, I know I should, dude. I okay. At the start of the season, like first two weeks in, even when I saw the schedule, I'm like Packers are gonna win this game. There's no fucking way. But now we got the momentum. We're in Cincinnati. Crowd's going to be loud. Jungle's going to be loud. Some defensive players out for the Packers. Big one, Jair Alexander. I haven't checked recently, but he might be out for this game. And if he is, who's going to stop? Who's going to stop Jamar Chase? Who's going to stop CJ Uzama? Who's going to stop Tyler Boyd and T. Higgins? All our starters are coming back. We had 10 days to rest. This is the biggest trap game for Packers right now. And if Bengals win this, they, they're going to prove that they are a... 
that they belong in that in that race for the division that no one's talking about. So hopefully the Bengals win. I'm picking them because I'm absolutely biased here, but I really do think they have a good chance. I this game is gonna be an absolute shootout, dude. I I can't wait for this game. I, it it just if just looking at those logos, it, it you could just tell it's gonna be a good game. Now for a very defensive, low-scoring game. Next, you got the Broncos versus with Drew Lock Cock, Horse Cock Lock, playing the Steelers. Uh, to me, this is a the worst starting quarterback in the league versus the second worst starting quarterback in the league. And uh, honestly, I'm I don't trust Drew Lock. I don't. I don't like that. I don't like when he's the quarterback. I I get, I do think he's the worst quarterback in the league. I do. So, with that being said, as long as he's a starting quarterback, I don't think they're going to win games. Steelers, Steelers can be horrible. Steelers are terrible, but I think they're going to win this game. Even as a biased AFC North fan who wants them all to lose, I think the Steelers should win this one. And the, the fans will have... A lot of hopium again. <laughs> uh, good. Happy for the Steelers fans. They're going to enjoy this win, hopefully. I mean, if they lose, they, like, their season's over. It's done. But, yeah, they can they can get a win here for sure. And that's going to be my upset of the week just record-wise. So, I do, a lot of people probably think the Steelers are going to win. But, yeah, this is going to be my upset. Next game, you got the Bears who got a good game against the Lions. Playing the Raiders, who had a pretty bad first half against the Chargers. It wasn't pretty. It was really bad. I don't know if it was the play calling. It, it, like some miscues. They just could not get a first down. And uh, it was probably play calling, to be honest. But I expect the Raiders to, to bounce back here. I But they're... I mean, don't count the Bears out here, man. This is a definitely a... Oh, God, I have the hiccups again, of course. I'm not sick anymore, by the way, so that's good. Uh, this is going to be a... Uh, this is a toss-up for me, too, but, uh, there, like, there's a lot less Justin Fields tape for them to go off of. He could be pretty sneaky here, and the Raiders, you know, tend to choke a lot and just start losing, go on losing streak. I, I hope the... I, I think the Raiders will make the playoffs this year, and uh, hopefully they will. Hopefully they'll win this game and uh, show that they... You know, the Chargers are just a good tra- team, you know? Speaking of the Chargers, you got the Browns versus the Chargers. This is the game to watch, for sure. Browns versus Chargers. Uh, Browns, great defense. Horrible offense recently. Chargers, great defense, great offense. Uh... They just beat the Chiefs, and the Browns didn't, so that's why I'm just going to go with the Chargers here. I don't, I don't, I don't, if, if Baker goes off, Baker could just go off, you know. Again, this is a huge toss-up. That's why game to watch is our toss-ups. Like, you, you, could, you, could, you could pick anybody to win, and it, it's not going to be surprising. Uh, so, next up, you got the Giants and the Cowboys, a divisional game. Uh, I like the Cowboys here. Giants did beat the Saints, but the you know, Saints are very inconsistent. Uh, is this the night game? No, it's not. No, it's not. But it's a 4 o'clock game. Divisional round. Uh, I, I like the Cowboys here. I think they just have the more complete team right now. And, uh, I'm not, I'm not holding back on that. I... Giants could win this. They they'd be close in like every game. Again, dude, there's so many toss ups. Like I don't know how anyone's gonna go sixteen and zero this week. But I'm gonna go with the Cowboys. They just think they're better. They're a better team, and uh, they're gonna run away with this division. So they better start now with the Giants. Next up, 49ers versus the Cardinals. Again, the 49ers. You know, a divisional game. They could get the upset. It's pretty much a toss-up again, but the Cardinals are just so good right now. How can you not pick the Cardinals? They're insane. You, you got Christian Kirk, who didn't have a good game last week, but you got A.J. Green, you got DeAndre Hopkins. And A.J. Green's looking like he's he's back in his prime, dude. Like Kyler Murray, front MVP runner. That, that team is dangerous, scary. I would not want to play them right now. 
Next up, you got the night game, the Bills versus the Chiefs. Conference game, pretty much the best two teams in the AFC last year. I don't know if that's going to be the case this year, but it's what a lot, a lot of analysts have been saying. So they, they this could be the best two AFC teams uh, right now. And they're, they're, they're battling. I don't like that Chiefs defense. I love the B- Bills defense. I love the Bills offense. As long as the Bills just keep having that defense and the Cab and the Chiefs keep having that defense, I mean, game of the week, you got to go with the Bills. I, I, I would not be surprised if the Chiefs won this game, though. But I got that, that Chiefs defense. You know, Bills are going to score a lot of points. And if that defense can't, well, we know it. They can't, they can't do it. They're like the Oprah Winfrey Cowboys defense from last year. That's why I almost called the Chiefs the Cowboys, because that's what they remind me of. Next game. Monday night, you got the Colts versus the Baltimore Ravens. They both lived in Baltimore once, fun fact. Uh, but, yeah, the Colts, uh, as much as I want to pick the Colts here, they just won their game against Miami. I don't know how good Miami is. I don't think they're really good at all. Both 1-3, and three, but the Ravens are 3-1. and one. They beat the Chiefs. They beat the Lions, barely. This could be a close game. Could be a toss-up. A lot of people are picking the Ravens, though, so how could you not pick the Ravens? That's right, guys. I picked everyone but the Browns to win in our in my division. How biased am I? Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go with the Ravens here, and that's gonna be Week Five. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your predictions in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time.